Baghdad, August the 19th, 2003. A massive truck bomb destroys UN headquarters at the Canal Hotel. Over 100 people are wounded and 22 killed, including this man, the Secretary General's special representative in Iraq, Sergio Vieira de Mello. Five years on, and at UN headquarters in New York, a wreath is laid to commemorate the attack. They were heroes. They faced the danger to help people in need. They did their job in its largest and most noble sense. Here at the bookshop in the basement of UN headquarters in New York, there's a volume dedicated to the life and work of Sergio Vieira de Mello. It calls him a humanitarian peacemaker and state builder who was at the center of some of the most significant geopolitical crises of the past half a century. Back up! Back up! But others say the operation de Mello led was too close to US policy on Iraq and in particular to the then head of the coalition provisional authority, Paul Bremer. The UN was a collaborator with Bremer, with the Americans, and that would have been very visible to the Iraqis, particularly those who were Sunni or Shia or both, I don't know, or others, who were very unhappy, clearly, with the presence of the Americans and the United Nations at, at that time. At UN headquarters in New York, the bombing of the Baghdad base and a second explosion a month later caused deep shock and forced a withdrawal to Jordan. This was the first time the UN had been so openly targeted. So did the United Nations pay a price for being too close to the U.S.? Oh, I always find these kinds of stories afterwards that this is why or it was this or was that. You know, there can be no rational argument for going in and blowing up a bunch of innocent human beings. The Security Council recently extended the mission in Iraq for a further 12 months, and the Secretariat wants to expand the U.N.'s role there. But Dennis Halliday says the U.N. has no place in Iraq so long as U.S. troops are in the country. Uh, only when the, the U.S. is finally kicked out should, and if the government invites the United Nations, should we go back there and provide whatever assistance they determine we can best provide. I don't understand the logic of that at all. I hear it everywhere that you shouldn't be here for this reason or you shouldn't be there for that reason. Now, the fact of the matter is there are people there that need help. That may not be how some people see it, so in preparation for a more complete role in Iraq, the UN is tightening security as much as possible to make sure scenes like these are not repeated and ceremonies like this are no longer necessary. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations in New York.